In Luton this morning, they were queuing for the mobile vaccination clinic. Next stop, immunity from COVID. I'm not a fan of needles, so I was a little apprehensive, but it was fine in the end. But I'm happy and relieved. Good, fine, easy. Research published today brings an early hint of the news scientists had barely dared to dream. Not only do jabs prevent severe illness and death, they stop most people getting infected in the first place. The studies showed that both the Pfizer and AstraZeneca vaccines cut infections by 65% after one dose. And either jab produced a strong antibody response in 95% of people. But the other 5% had a low response, and the study authors are keen to see how they respond to the second jab. Vaccination is great. We need to get the levels down. Vaccination's you know, a good way to do that. But people still need to be aware that they can get it again, they can pass it on. And we are essentially walking a tightrope. We're trying to get it to too low levels to, to avoid getting new variants, which then get rid of all the gains we've made. It's one of the reasons why the government won't budge on lockdown easing. The other is how closely people stick to the rules once limited indoor mixing is allowed next month. Signs so far are that most people are doing as asked despite new freedoms. I think we need patience. The end is in sight. It's weeks away. We can see it. We just need that patience to make sure we have the vaccination program roll out. We collect the data and we know that at each point as we unlock that actually it's safe to do so without triggering an uptick in infections. Senior government scientists are confident cases will continue to fall throughout May. Summer isn't saved yet, but things are certainly heading in the right direction.